as you just heard, uh, pregame ceremony is always enjoyable to watch down here, John. Always have a excellent national anthem, the light show. It's always have a lot of people on hand. I mean, there may not be as many here tonight, but there's still close to a thousand people here. And last time I checked, that's a lot of for a high school game. Oh yeah, Tony. I mean, this is always a great atmosphere, no matter when you come over here. Especially like this, it's a big sectional game. I, I really, you know, we felt like it coming in that we'd have trouble finding parking. We really didn't, did we? No. A lot different from last year. This place was packed every single night when Cottrell was in town. Yes, sir. But he was also an All-American. I <laughs> get you some love, don't it, Tony? Yeah. That's just something that you just, for some reason, you just don't see that every day. But we're back here to the action. Opening tip, controlled by Huntington, going over to the right-hand side. Number two, Elijah King. 23, Nathan DeMoss. He fires a three, no good. Coleman with the rebound, pushed the ball up the floor to Steve Browning, number 32. Paul Williamson, the returning All-Stater for Logan, gives her to Steve Browning. He fires a three, no good, but Gary North can have the rebound. Browning gets it swatted out of bounds by a 6'5 senior, Chase Baker. Sorry, that's what you want to see, Tony. You want to put the ball on the floor, you know, and attack. Yeah, he, um, it's better than pulling up them jump shots. A lot higher percentage when you go up strong to the hoop. Absolutely. Except unless you're Paul Williamson, of course. Yeah. But he finds Gary Miller down low and sneaking the player need to step up. He was one of them. So far he does it with the first basket of the game. Two to nothing, seven minutes to go. You'll get them kind of shots when you got Paul Williamson. That's the kind of respect he gets on the perimeter, Tony. Total team rotation. Count Gary. Always good to see your score. Keeping his eyes open, looking for the open man and now Logan's getting another chance here to do something on the offensive end as they force the turnover on the defensive side. A traveling violation by Huntington. Paul Williamson going to bring the ball up the floor. Yeah, I don't think they'll get too many chances tonight, Tony. You know, you're, ooh. That, I mean, that Huntington will turn the ball over. I don't, I don't think they're a team that will turn the ball over quite often. Like I said before, I mean, leading the MSAC. It's supposed to be the premier basketball conference, right, Tony and Triple yeah, I mean, I, I, can, I don't know of one, one better. Matthew Green getting the inbounds. They're giving her to Paul. Gets a give and go with Miller. That three point was good. And if you can get him to get 30, which he's been known to do, I don't care who you are. If you have a guy getting 30, you have a chance at any game. That's exactly right. I mean,. He's just such a pure shooter, Tony. He didn't have his feet set. That I think is what amazes me is how many of them he makes. Nice job by Matthew Ooh. Green of trying to get back there quick, but still, even better job there by Elijah King hitting the three. Matthew Green open for three. Back rim no good. Rebound goes to Baker. DeMoss to King. He goes up with it. Rouse around no good. Browning with this nice rebound. He's going to see he's going to take it all himself. He's going to do the smart thing and pull it back out, but finds Paul Williamson. Front rim no good. Gary Miller going for the putback. No good. Rebound went to Baker. Now here on the other end. Quick shot up in the paint. No good by Nathan DeMoss. We're going to have a foul here. 5 to 3 is your score. 5 25 remaining in the first quarter. Yeah, see, Gary, you got, you got him to pick him up a cheap foul there, Tony. I felt like it, it started on the possession before on that tip back. He was a little too far out. He got aggravated. You see him try to volleyball with two hands. I mean, he normally plays pretty good around the rim, but must have misjudged the distance there yeah. when he went in the air. 5 to 3 again is your score here. Early, early, early. Only two and a half minutes in. Feels good, Tony. Starting out a good, uh, good week of basketball. You know, starting here, Lo- Logan Huntington. Yeah, we have a quite a busy schedule this week. We even have a game Saturday, Lincoln yeah. County and Riverview. Yeah, we're, we're going to be packed to the to the hill, but that's what that's what we told them we was going to deliver, Tony. That's right. Sometimes to, to get the people what they need, you got to make some self sacrifice. That's exactly right. And I just want to thank uh, again everybody at Stevens Auto for cooperating with my schedule. Um, making it possible, you know. Good group of guys down there, Tony. They really are. 
We have a foul again down here. This one's going to be on Gary Miller. That'll be his second. And let's see what uh, we're bringing Keaton Johnson, the sharpshooter. He's got a little size, though, to him. Yeah. Well, you see Hatch, you know, throw his hands up. This gets frustrated. You know, Gary, such a great player when he's in the game. So aggressive, Tony. He makes a complete difference on the inside around that basket on the defensive end. Yeah, and it, it, it really hurts when he goes to the bench, especially this early. But, I mean, hey, they put Keaton in. That kid can stroke it. Yeah, I mean, he can come off the bench hit two big threes, three, four. I mean, there's one game he had, like, 17, you know. He, he's capable of doing it. I mean, they talk about a, a uh, shooter all the time. They're just streaky. Here we go back the other way. Number two, Elijah King. He made the free throw, Tony. I'm just trying to figure out who it was. <laughs> Got caught up in the conversation there, but Juan Hayes getting his first field goal. Plus, he was the one that just made the free throw. <laughs> Apologies. Stevie Browning going back, three pointer, no good. Number 11, Kawanis Hayes bringing the ball up the floor. Stevie Browning though with the steal, getting up to Matt Green. Pump fake up. And that's what happens when sometimes when you don't really have the speed or the vertical or something like that, you got to find the little things, the, you know, the little pump fake or the the crab dribble, as LeBron would say it, or something like that. Oh, good play. It's a nice job by Matthew Green. And now a nice rebound here by Stevie Browning, kicking it back out. Paul Williams play open for three. Side rim, no good. Rebound goes to Browning. Over to Deontay. Give it back out to Paul Williamson. 7-7, seven to seven, 3.45 to go. Is Paul Williams going to go in and one? That's what he does. Yeah, you know, he normally shoots a pretty high percentage, don't you, Tony, from the free throw yeah. strike. It's at least 80. So anytime he gets there, that's a good thing. And he takes a lot of free throws. It's just he's aggressive, Tony. That's what you like to see. And put the ball on the floor and go to the basket. And, and if he don't, I mean, he can just step back and knock a thirty footer on you too. So it's, you know his game's pretty complete. Yeah. And he gets the other one. Six early points for Paul Williamson. Ten to seven. Wildcats by three. 3.30 to go. Nathan DeMoss, give and go with Elijah King right there. Now they give it up to 24. Hayes, shot up, no good. Put back up and good by Hayes. Ten to nine. 316 exactly on the clock. And here we and here we're rolling. Paul Williamson bringing the ball up the floor. Normally Deontay Coleman's job. Yeah. Again, they I thought Dustin Woody was oh. after he moved down here. I see why he didn't bring the ball up the floor, Tommy. <laughs> he did great vision right there, but again, uh we got to fill in for what was going to be Dustin Woody. That's a story within itself. Oh, man, kid. That needs a documentary made. Kid ain't getting a good, good fair shot, Tony. I don't believe, man. Like, it's the rule, the rule. You got to enforce it. Yeah, you can't make him the first yep. out of nowhere for no reason. That's right. If we have an All Star game. We're going to make up for them. Get them in there. Figure it out. We will figure it out. Yeah, he's he's getting ready to enter the. End of the, the process, ain't he, Tony? And that's what that's what's so sad about the, the yeah. whole situation. I mean, it's sad that it's even when he eventually have to go to the court, you know, take up tax dollars, you yeah. know, over something that should could have simply been avoided. Right. Sound like it's been done over the last eighty years. But we're back here to the action. We're done griping. <laughs> oh, I'm done griping. Nice. Paul Williams, a nice get. Nice take there to the basket. 14-9. Logan extending their largest lead of the night out to 5, 2, 10 to go in the first quarter. We're getting down low to number 4, Kyle Sheffield the second. Ooh. Shot is up, no good. Rebound goes to Devontae Marable. He goes out of bounds. Last touch by Huntington. And here we go. Also in the game for Huntington for the first time, 11, Aaron Williams. So Huntington showing eight deep right off the bat. 
Steve Browning going in. That's his shot. And that's why. It's a high percentage one for him. He normally hits that more times than not. We have a timeout taken by Huntington, 32nd one, 16 to 9. Logan up by 7, minute 43. But let's not get too excited here if you're Logan because we've seen them jump out to an early lead. I mean, for goodness sakes, they held a five point lead over Northland, Ohio, the number 24th team in the country. You know, and that, they got to put together four solid quarters. So far, so good, but can they maintain and be persistent and consistent? with what's going on right now on the defensive and offensive end because they're forcing some turnovers out of Huntington. Yeah, I mean, it comes down to bench play, I believe, Tony. You, know, these, you get tired as that game goes on. you got to learn that, and to be a, you know, being the players, you know, you got to learn to play when you're fatigued. You know, you know when you're tired, you got to, as the old coach used to say, suck it up. Let's go, you know. And uh, until, when, I think when Logan gets that mentality, like it, it's, it's going to be a real great asset to their team. And also, we've also been curious as if maybe the light show intimidates teams in the first quarter. We've seen a lot of teams be sluggish in the first quarter on coming down, being the visitors. Yeah. That's a great point, Tony. We've, we've talked about that. That's, that's something, ain't it? That is. Nice. Aaron Williams getting the pass down low. Fouled by Kyle Sheffield the second. He fouled by Keaton Johnson there, I believe. <laughs> And the free throw is up and no good by Sheffield. Second attempt, no good. Missing both. Good foul by Keaton Johnson there. Paul Williamson with the rebound. Going to bring it back up the floor, crossing the half-court logo, getting over to the left-hand side. Steve Browning finding Deontay Coleman, cutting across the floor. Nice job. Great release, Tony. Mean, just great vision to find him on that on that cutter. Now here comes Logan, doubling up, coming out of the gate. You know, they, I mean, they were underdogs coming into this, and believe it or not, with Trevor Andrews, their one big man, being out. You know, and with no really no point guard, and then their one main guy off the bench going to the baseball, you know, players have had to step up, and so far it's been the case. Yeah. And Paul Williamson played superb. And number four, Sheffield the second, had an opening there, but he went under. Nice recovery defense by Logan. Yeah. Paul gives it back up, and he gets trying to steal it right back. And here we go, layup and good. Paul's on the floor. Well, that's the last thing Logan could use right now. Looks like he maybe just got hit in the shin. Yeah, going to walk that one off, ain't he? So now they're going to bring in. Have to bring in somebody. They're going to actually going to bring in 30 Brendan Street, or is they like to come down here, Logan Worm? He's a freshman. He's the. A lot of people are excited about this young man. Uh, Zach Green, he was, uh, you know, yeah. he's, uh, he was uh, joining us for that last Logan game, you know, post-game interview there. And he he's, he was telling us, he's been telling us, and, you know, he's working with JV and freshman, he's like, he's going to play. He's going to play. That's right. So we're going to get to see what he's made of here. Yeah. Steve, Stevie Browning giving it over to him. He goes into the paint. Got out of that, uh, not a, not a bad sign there. You start scoring points. He came in for Paul Williamson and just took the basket, you know, yeah. just like Paul would do. So talk about stepping up. Here we go. Maybe he's watched somebody do it in practice, though. <laughs> he was on the heavy with a salt off of. Uh-huh. But 20 to 11 is your score. He's always doing a good job down here. I love the signs. Yes, yeah, it's passionate. It's, it's a sport, Tony. It is. Not where I come from, but you know, down here, they, it's serious. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> and we'll be right back here with a more of the first quarter, second quarter here on WBSportsNet.com. 